Okay, so we have already seen that how we can solve the immediate left recursion problem. Now we're going to learn about non-immediate or indirect left recursion problem. Let's say we have been given three grammar. In this case, what we're going to do for, we're going to give number to each grammars. Three serial number one, two, three. In this way. For the first grammar, what we have to do, there is a start node. We have to check that does it has any immediate recursion. If the grammar has an immediate recursion, we have to solve it. Now, for the second grammar, two grammars are given. This is, this is for only one grammar. If only one grammar was given, that's why. This is if two grammars were given. In that case, we have to check the first one. That does it has an indirect recursion or not. If it has an indirect recursion, we have to solve it first. And then we have to check the second one. Does the second grammar has an immediate recursion? If that has, then we have to solve it. Now let's say there are three grammars present or given. In that case, we have to check the first two. Does those have any indirect recursion or not? And for the last one, we have to check immediate recursion has it or not. So in simple sentence that no matter how many are we are given, we have to check the last one. The last one we have to check immediate and for the first or all the things before that we have to check indirect. Now let's see some examples here. Grammars were given to us, the first one. So let's say we are going to give a serial to them, right? So let's solve. This is for the first one. We have written here S equal to AF. Now this is a single statement, it doesn't have anything. Now for the second. We have seen that S is an immediate because S is in this grammar so S can repeat here. So recursion is an okay, indirect recursion. And for the second one there is an immediate recursion. So we have to solve this problem. So we are going to come in here. We are written, we are writing A equal to SC. Now what I have to do is in this same grammar we are going to replace the value of s that is this one instead of s we are going to write this one that is a f d or b d this part has been taken from here instead of this place a f and d then b d we are just replacing the values now what we have to do we have to now this is a format here let's say we can see a format here or not this is a this is alpha 1 this is a this is alpha 2 this is beta 1 and this is beta 2 so we have a format here that we have already learned in our previous while doing immediate left recursion problem right so what we're going to do a equal to beta that's beta bd a prime or e a prime and a prime equal to epsilon c a prime or f d a prime so this is the answer the final answers are what are the final answers we are going to write s equal to a f p a equal to b d a prime or e a prime and a prime equal to epsilon c a prime or f d a prime this is our final answer for this problem let's solve another problem now we have been given three grammars let's solve this one also for the first one what we are going to do we are just as usual write this one a f slash b for the second one what we're going to do we're going to replace the value of s here sc that is a f d or b d or b e now we're going to solve this one this format is pretty much same like the previous one so let's just write here a equal to b d a prime or b e a prime a prime equal to epsilon c a prime or f d a prime now we still have uh, something left that is the second part that is b 
say the third part b equals to a j s h or k so first we have to replace the s that is b equal to a j s is a f h or b h or k now we have to replace a a is which one a is b d a prime g or b e a prime g we are taking this one this one and replacing a we are taking the full of this one and replacing a for g one time and for the fh one time that is pd a prime f a b e a prime f h okay now i have to write the rest of this the rest of r b h and k now what i have to do is i have to rearrange and make it into format that is let's say this part is beta 1 this part is alpha 1 this part is beta 2 this part is alpha 2 this part is beta 3 and this is beta 4 so what is my result here final that is beta 1 b d a prime g b prime or b b d a prime f h b prime or b h b prime or k b prime now b prime equal to epsilon e a prime g b prime or e a prime f h b prime so i'm not going to write the answer i have to write this one these two and the last these two if I write this one, this is the answer. So hopefully I hope that you have understand how we can solve immediate problem and non-immediate left regression problem. To practice some if you still have any kind of confusions, watch the videos again and comment down below. Thank you.